What's up everyone? Today, June 24th, we're going to do a quick garden tour. Here we have our uh, pepper bed. So we have some Anaheims, some banana peppers, some jumbo brown jalapenos. Uh, as you can see, we already have some uh, banana peppers coming, uh, coming ripe. So we've been actually harvesting these uh, for a couple days now. Um, we have some baby jalapenos in the back that are just, just barely starting to develop. So probably won't be a, for at least a couple more weeks before we can actually get any yield out of those plants. Uh, the color on these plants is amazing. We've had very little uh, actual pest problems. We've not used anything but some diatomaceous earth. Uh, they've just overall uh, been great seeds from uh, uh, rareseeds.com. Here in our tomato bed, we're actually having an amazing amount of success. We have some Roma tomatoes and some black brandywine tomatoes. Um, one of our Roma bushes right now, at this stage, is already loaded down with about 32 tomatoes. Uh, the black brandywines are coming in uh, relatively strong as well. Uh, some of ours are already loaded up to about 20. Uh, it'll be probably another week or two before they're ready to uh, be harvested, but everything looks great right now. We have been running into some uh, green hornworms. We've been pulling them off. We've been doing a check in the morning and in the evening just so that we can stay on top of it because, I mean, they are really just getting ahead of us. Uh, I don't know. It's just that time of year. You got to stay on it. If you fall behind, they, they can grow and decimate a tomato plant pretty quick. In this bed we have some green zucchini and butternut squash. The green zucchini is doing amazing. Uh, our butternut squash is on the mend. Uh, we lost all but one uh, to a windstorm the other day. And it looks like it looks like they're coming back. We, as you can see in the uh, far um, lower or the lower uh, right corner, we have they're, they're coming back. Um, we're hoping that they'll bound, rebound back fast enough that we'll get some uh, crops at the end of the year. And in this bed we have our golden zucchini and spaghetti squash. This is definitely uh, a uh, prolific harvest this year. The, I, these plants are going crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it goes all the way to the top of that trellis and it's already we've already doubled it back it's coming back down on the other side they are absolutely loaded we've already been harvesting golden zucchini um, off the front plant uh, the plants are just just completely uh, fruit laden especially the spaghetti squash um, you can see them hanging there uh, uh, we could not be happier this is the most successful uh, um, year we've ever done uh, either of these plants so uh, we could not be happier in this bed we have our eggplant and our Chinese yard long beans. The yard longs are finally making their way up the trellis and the, the eggplant are doing phenomenal. Uh, we did have a pretty serious aphid outbreak in the center. Um, we got around that with a little bit of water and Dawn dish soap and coming out here and cleaning them off probably three times a day for a couple days and it really took care of the problem. And it, the plant actually rebounded back and is doing phenomenal now. Uh, we're hoping, we're not sure exactly when the Chinese yard long beans should start uh, producing fruit. We're hoping within the next couple weeks we'll start seeing some uh, pods start to drop down. And in the last bit here we have our dill. We also have our um, cucumbers, pickling cucumbers, which we've been, we've already pulled probably four or five off there. We have the dill as well, and uh, we have, starting from the far left to the right, we have Italian basil, the first two plants, the middle one is a cinnamon basil, and then these closest two to us are a Thai basil, which have a bit of a licorice taste to them. I like it, uh, my wife does not, neither do the kids. Uh, the cinnamon basil everyone likes. Um, we've already been harvesting our dill as well for pickles. So, I mean, this, uh, this is a very, uh, this bed has been yielding pretty regularly as well. We've already t 
I've definitely taken I don't know how many bags worth of uh, basil off these plants already just to keep them down. Thank you all for joining me on uh, the garden tour today. Uh, I know it might be a little boring, but we're trying to we're trying to keep up with our uh, records. Um, we do these for two reasons: uh, just to keep people up to date on our plants, and as a record for ourselves going into the future. Uh, this allows us to go back and look at how things uh, developed year after year, and uh, keep a pretty good log of when things started to develop and when we need to start checking for certain insects. Uh, um, hopefully we can get our okra bed finished up. The, the kids actually helped uh, helped us uh, finish building it and uh, it's filled with sticks. All we got to do is stain it and fill it with dirt and she's ready to go. Um, thank you all for uh, joining me today. Please like and subscribe. It uh, really helps out the channel. Thank you.